how y'all doing? A lot of y'all may know me, a lot of y'all may not know me. I am the owner of SayCheeseTV.com, aka Say Cheese. Now we all know XXL freshman class is coming up, um, 2017. Really, really talented list, really, really talented roster. There's a lot of artists um, that could really make these, these 10 spots. Um, on the XXL list. Um, shout out to uh, Cole Bennett too. I seen his predictions. A lot of people, they wanted to hear my predictions. So here go my predictions. Now remember, the XXL magazine, this is not no who's the most talented. This is not about who has the best bars, who's the best lyrically. It's about who's the hottest, who's achieving the most, who's doing the most, book shows. Um, like I said, achievements, who's going gold, who's going platinum. Who's next up? Who could be the biggest next year? Or, you know, who could be the biggest? Who's going to be the biggest at the end of 2017? So here's my prediction. Um, I'm, I'm not saying I'm right, but if I was to make this list, this would be my list. So here we go. First on my list is YFN Lucci, simply because he has the streets on lock. Like there's a lot of SoundCloud rappers. There's a lot of YouTube rappers. There's a lot of street rappers. But one thing about YFN Lucci, when I'm on the internet, I see people fucking with him. When I'm in the streets, I see people fucking with him. And that means a lot to me because when you have the streets and you have the internet, you have longevity. And that's why, you know, YF and Lucci, to me, um, it's a no-brainer. He makes um, my 10th spot. Next on my list, Russ. Um, mixed dude with the long hair. Now, if y'all go look at his Instagram, y'all will see what this dude is really doing. Now, a lot, he has two records, I believe, that are gold right now. Um, but if you go look at his Instagram, he's doing shows, two, three thousand people headlining. Um, it's a no-brainer. I mean, a lot, there's a lot of hot rappers on the internet that are doing millions and millions of views. But to do a show and sell out shows doing 1,000, 3,000 different people headlining with no opening acts, that should say enough right there. Next, Famous Dex. He could have made the XXL list last year. Now, a lot of people, oh, he's a mumble rapper, he's trash. One thing about Famous Dex, he kept applying pressure. He kept applying pressure. All of his videos are doing a million views. He just did his own tour, really successful tour. He signed to um, Rich the Kid, which I feel like he's his own boss. He should have did his own thing. But regardless, he's doing his thing, man. He's undeniable. He has his own sound. I mean... He's not stopping. He's the most consistent artist on this list. Every fucking, every other day he's doing, a, he has a fucking video out. No brainer. Next on my list, Playboy Cardi. I mean, he had the most anticipated project this year um, as far as the new cats go. Um, a lot of people was waiting on this mixtape. It did 28,000 first week. Decent numbers. Thought it would be a little bit higher because so many people anticipated it. But I mean, hey, the project is actually good. And then prior to that, he was he been doing this thing. A lot of people thought he was gonna be on XXL last year. So I feel like um, Playboy Cardi should really, really um, be on it this year. I mean, he is. I mean, why wouldn't he? Um, I feel like XXL, they'll take the bigger L if they didn't have him on it this year. So Playboy Cardi, he really makes this list of mine. T Grizzly. And T Grizzly, in my opinion, he takes Young and May's spot. Why Young and May isn't gonna make it to me is because Young and May, she's going on a downfall right now. Her second single didn't do as good as the Ooh did. And I feel like if, ex, if, if, if this was last year, she would have made it. But her record came out right after the XXL dropped last year. So I feel like this year, she's no longer up and coming. And she's not next up. I feel like she's going down. So I feel like T Grizzly is taking her spot this year because he has that first day out record that is real big right now. And he's on, he's on tour with 21 along with Young and May. But... I feel like T Grizzly, he can go nowhere but up right now. I feel like Young and May, a lot of people are like, ah, uh, they're not really fucking with her no more. It's kind of, you know, it's the sophomore slump. So I feel like T Grizzly's gonna take her spot um, with the freshman XXL list. A Boogie with the hoodie, another no brainer. A Boogie's doing his fucking thing, man. I, I believe one of his records went gold already. He's on uh, the Fate of the Furious soundtrack. I mean, his achievements keep going on and on. He's booked every weekend. He's doing these shows. Like I said, a lot of the people, a lot of these rappers, doing, they're doing millions and millions of views, but they don't really have nothing going. You know what I'm saying? They're just the, the SoundCloud rapper or the YouTube rapper getting millions and millions of clicks, which is cool, but they're not really making no money off this shit. A Boogie's a household name. He has his own sound. He's really doing his thing right now. Next on my list, Mozzie. And this goes back to the streets. This goes back to the this one. This goes back to what I was saying earlier. 
about wife and Lucci. He has the internet and he has the streets. When you have the streets, one thing about the streets, you can't buy the streets. You can't buy the streets. That's one thing about Mozzie, and I feel like he's gonna be around for a minute. The only thing Mozzie's missing right now is that one record that everybody could just, that's just fucking with all over the nation. And that's what I think the, 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 the PNB Rocks and the A Boogies, that's what they had. They had that one record that everybody's really just fucking with right now. And I feel like Mozzie, once he finds that one record, I feel like, you know, it's gonna be undeniable for him, but I feel like I put Mozzie above the the, the the little the little pumps and the the smoke perp simply because he has the streets, and you know like I said the internet thing is cool, but every six months it's a new internet nigga, every six months it's not a new street nigga, so that's why I put Mozzie on this list, and I feel like uh, he, uh, he he he's just snuck on, but I feel like his credentials man like are you can't. You can't, they, they, you know, numbers don't lie, you know what I'm saying? And, and like I said, achievements don't lie. So I put Mozzie on this list, and um, like I said, he's only one hit away. Hood Rich Pablo Juan, simply because Hood Rich Pablo Juan has his own sound, you know what I'm saying? Hood Rich Pablo Juan has everybody trying to steal his new flow. I mean, hey, it's, it's something new and refreshing to the game, and I don't think a lot of people are really just hip to him yet, but I feel like, he does have them couple records that, that are getting jammed in the streets. He is a household name. Who is Pablo Juan deserves to be on this list. And like I said, he's getting booked every weekend. He's starting to do his thing. Him and Moneybag Yo are, are definitely on the bubble with, with along with Money Man. But I put Who Rich Pablo Juan uh, with these 10 people to make the list because he's separating himself from the pack. Next on my list, PNB Rock. Along with the rest of these guys, household name. He has a lot going for himself. He's selling our shows. I believe Selfish or a few, I think he has one or two records that are gold right now that sh that should be platinum in the future. Doing his thing, like I said, we're going off achievements. I know a lot of y'all are gonna say, oh, oh, but I'm going off achievements. I'm not going off talent because that's what XSL is looking at. Yes, this is a popularity contest. Get popular. Last but not least, NBA Young Boy. Simply because we know, I know the potential NBA young boy had to be before he got locked up. Now a lot of y'all may say, well damn, he's in jail. How are they gonna put him on a freshman cover? Remind you, Chief Keith was in jail as well in 2012 and they cropped a picture of him on there. So, um, I mean, we can't deny that NBA young boy was really, really, really doing his thing before you know he got locked up but the only thing about it he didn't have that one hit record so that may be that you know why xxl they don't put him on this drone but i feel like nba young boy he was a household name hell of achievements doing his thing um at such a young age only 17 years old but i don't know we just have to wait and see so these are my top 10 now um honorable mention i got xxx simply because I mean, I, I, I feel like he, X, I feel like XXL could make it, but I just, I don't know. I don't really like the, 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 the gimmicks that he's doing, you know, with coming at Drake and doing all that. I don't like when niggas come at other niggas for clout. Like, either you got it or you don't. But one thing about XXX X is that he has his, a crazy, crazy fan base, man. Now, the most talented rapper out of this whole thing, and he's nominated, is Core out of Philly. Um, Core and Smino out of St. Louis, they, these guys are super talented, man. Longevity could be around in the next 10 to 15 years. Core and Smino, don't sleep on them. Um, Core is one of them guys to where you can just feel it when he's rapping to you, you can feel it. You can just feel it, man. It just touches your soul. Smino is another old soul too, so um, get hit to those guys. Um, Rico Reckless, I feel like Rico Reckless is missing that one record. I mean, he definitely, his fan base is there. But I just feel like Rico Reckless, he, he's missing that one record that everybody just knows. I, I mean, everybody knows he's from Chicago, he's with the shit, but I don't feel like everybody just knows his music like that. Now, don't, don't, don't get it twisted. He's doing millions and millions of views, and you know, he is, I'm talking about him right now for a reason, you know what I'm saying? He's doing his thing, but in that, you know, this top 10 is super hard. There's so many people doing their thing. Um, Ugly God, is, Ugly God is another one that, that, that's in my honorable mentions, but I just, I don't know, it's, just, it's, it's hard for these 10 rappers. I'm looking at, you know, 
do you have the streets? Do you have the internet? Do you have the whole package? Cause if I'm a record label, I'm looking at I'm looking at I'm looking at an artist that has the whole package. So Ugly God's one of them guys. He's an internet dude, but whatever he does on the internet goes viral. So he's in a win-win. You know what I'm saying? You're in a win-win when you're with Ugly Gods, cause the digital rappers they pop like like that. But do they last though? That's the only thing I'm looking for. Who's gonna be popping in the next two three years? So y'all let me know what y'all think. Shout out to everybody doing their thing, man. Um, our Instagram is down right now, um, so we don't have an Instagram. We have 20 fake Instagram pages that are up right now. So y'all will keep checking, you know, keep checking my personal pages on Twitter and Instagram at Sean Cotton, and I'm gonna keep updating y'all on, you know, when we get our Instagram back, or you know, when we may start a new one from scratch. Our Instagram was popping; we was breaking so many artists, and we're gonna continue to break artists. Yo, so y'all follow my personal page and y'all comment below and let me think like, yo, Sean, you don't, you don't know what the fuck you talking about. Or yo, no, nah, Sean, you right. And comment below, let me know what y'all think. Shout out to the people who, who do make the XXL freshman list, man, because y'all deserve it. Um, comment below, subscribe, I'm out.